Uh, welcome back to the Mojave and all the way true to Kaisar, as it would appear in this episode. Today we're going to be talking about the Machete, the premier weapon of Caesar's Legion, and I guess all of the Machete family, which there's actually four versions of the Machete in this game. And this will probably be one of the first melee weapons that you get introduced to. You can actually find them pretty early on throughout the wasteland if you know where to look and you're going to see them pretty obviously with Caesar's Legion. So you can pick them off of dead Legion members. Whether you kill them or somebody else kills them, you can get a machete pretty easily. So the base machete is kind of weird and interesting just in and of itself since it's a lawnmower blade that's been kind of sharpened into a machete and then just uh, taped to a stick, which is a little bit odd, but okay. This one requires 25 melee weapons in order to wield and 3 strength. Fairly low requirements for a melee weapon, nothing really crazy there. And if you're going with a melee build, you're likely going to have a lot of strength since you get more damage with melee if you have more strength, so you might as well have a lot of it there. This one has 11 damage per hit, 33 damage per second, which are both kind of low. This one does attack fairly fast, but doesn't hit really that hard. This one does do 11 crit damage, which is not super high, but it's okay. This one has a 1.5 times crit modifier, which is above average, so you're more likely to hit crits with the machete, which is uh, kind of cool. This one does cost 20 action points to use during vats, which is pretty low. You can actually spam this out pretty quick. It's not going to be as good as something like Brass Knuckles, which we just recently talked about, but it's okay. The machete weighs two weight, and this has 50 item health, which is pretty low. Machetes do break pretty fast, but that's not such a huge deal because you can fix them really easy. The machete and some of its uh, unique versions also have a unique ability which makes it so they do increased damage towards limbs. So this would be arms, legs, anything like that. You can break limbs easier with the machetes. This one is two times with the base machete. So that's pretty nice. The machete, just like all melee weapons, also has a unique vats attack in it. So once you hit 50 melee, then you can use this unique vats attack. For the machete, this is called backslash. This allows you to do a little bit less damage than you normally would with the regular slash from machete but it does make it so it costs a little bit less action points overall. So you can maybe squeeze a couple more backslashes in, maybe one or two more, but it's not one of the stronger uh, unique attacks that melee weapons have in VATS. It's just kind of okay overall, and you might get a few more hits out of this. So for a standard machete, its pros are that it's very common. You can find these all over the place, and the extra limb damage is really nice. You can break limbs even quicker than you normally would, which can help on certain enemy types especially particularly slow enemy types where you can break their limbs and then just keep kiting them as you can keep hitting them whenever they go to swing just back up and then come back in and swing that could be a decent option major cons to this though are that it does do low damage it has fairly low damage per second and it also has very low item health you're going to be breaking the machete pretty quick there's also just a whole lot better melee weapons even early on than something like the machete so it does fall off pretty hard. I mean, you can just go to the Good Springs water source and grab a shovel, and the shovel's probably going to outdo the machete and basically everything besides, I guess, it being a one-handed weapon. But even then, this isn't a sneak-in weapon, so you can't even sneak machetes in. You couldn't sneak the shovel in either, but... Yeah, machete is not really one of the strongest melee weapons. It's not a terrible weapon and it's not unusable, which is why I'd put it into our D tier on our tier list. It's okay, but you're probably going to get rid of it pretty fast, and there are better options. Let's talk about some of the unique versions of the machete next. First up, we have the broad machete. The broad machete, I think, looks a lot better than the regular machete, because this one does kind of look like a bolo machete, which is pretty cool looking. This one you actually get at the very start of the game if you have the tribal pack. So you have the tribal pack, you start out with this, you start out with some throwing spears, and you start out with some venom, which you could put on your machete, so if you hit somebody with it, then they take damage over time, which can be pretty good. This one does have different stat requirements than the standard machete, with uh, having zero melee weapons required and three strength. This one is really good at the start because it's kind of like a go-to weapon. Melee, you don't have to worry about breaking all that quickly, most of the time. And it works pretty well since a lot of the time you're not going to have a lot of bullets early on. This one does 15 damage per hit, which is a bit better than the regular machete. It does 49 damage per second, which is also quite a bit better than the regular machete. Has a 2 times crit modifier, which is really good. Has uh, 15 crit damage, which is okay. 17 action point cost, which is fairly low. That's actually lower than something like the Brass Knuckles. So this one does actually have a kind of a niche with an action point build, at least early on. This one only weighs 1, so 1 less than the regular machete, which is awesome. And this one has slightly better item health at 75. It's still going to break fairly quick. These, this one doesn't break that much slower than the regular machete. It also doesn't have increased limb damage like a regular machete. That doesn't matter so much as I would say that this one is a better option than the regular machete. And it's a pretty decent option into the early game for a melee weapons build or an unarmed build. 
and you may not have something real strong right away, you can use this in the early game to get a little bit of an advantage, not use up your ammo if you're not even going to be using a melee or unarmed build, at least primarily. So it, it does have some bonuses there, and I would put this one a tier higher than the standard machete up into C tier, at least into the early game. It does fall off pretty hard, just like the regular machete though, so late game. There's not a whole lot of difference between this and a regular machete. For another unique machete, we have the Liberator. You can get this one by completing a quest or by killing a Caesar's Legion member who has this and then taking it off of him. This one requires 25 melee weapons, 3 strength, same as a standard machete. Does 18 damage per hit, which is quite a bit more than a regular machete. Has 62 damage per second, which is pretty good. We're actually getting into pretty good damage with the Liberator here. 3 times crit modifier, which is really nice, although its crit damage is only 18, but hey, hitting crits more often is going to get you more damage overall and more DPS, so that's pretty nice. This one costs 18 action points, which is better than the regular machete, one less than the broad machete, but still pretty good. This one has even more limb damage than a standard machete at 2.5 times. This one weighs 2, just like a standard machete, and this one does have slightly better health than a regular machete. It has 75, same as the broad machete, so it'll also break quick. But again, machetes aren't hard to find to fix these up, and if you're running jury rigging, it's really easy to fix melee just in general. So if you want to use it for that, it can be okay then. And this is actually a pretty decent early game option, since the quest is not particularly difficult to do for the Legion, or you can go over there and kill the Legion, which is also not particularly hard to do either for the NCR and take the Liberator off of them. And then you'll actually have a pretty decent early game weapon that's a bit better than the Broad Machete. I would still probably put this one into C tier, the same as the Broad Machete, but it is kind of nice. I should also mention that all of these machetes have the same VATS attack as well. The unique ones do as well. They all have backslash on them. And then we have one more class of machete with our fourth class of machete. And this one is called the Machete Gladius. The Machete Gladius is actually not a unique version of the machete. However, there are a limited amount of these. So it's sort of unique. Usually higher leveled members of Caesar's Legion will have something like the Machete Gladius on them, assuming they don't have something stronger like the Chainsaw or the Ballistic Fist or whatever it might be. These weapons are more for like the ranking officers, I guess, in Caesar's Legion. So this one also requires 25 melee and 4 strength to wield, one more strength than all the other machetes. This one does 28 damage per hit, which is pretty decent. This one has 84 damage per second, also quite good. The damage per second with this one is really nice. It has uh, 28 crit damage, which is fine. It has a 1.5 times crit modifier, which is also good. It has the same crit modifier as the regular machete. Costs 20 action points to use, same as the regular machete. Weighs 2, has 75 item health, so it's a little bit better than a regular machete again in terms of item health, although these do break quick, but again, you can fix them with other machetes, so it's not a huge deal. And this one does do double limb damage, just like a regular machete. This is just the machete plus basically, where it, I would say it looks cooler and it's also just straight up stronger than a regular machete is at basically everything. This one I'd actually put a tier higher than the other machetes too. I'd put it up in a B tier as it is actually a pretty decent weapon. It's still not one of the strongest melee weapons in the game. It's not one of the strongest one-handed melee weapons, but it's decent. And if you do want to rush to, let's say, Caesar Legion and kill them and take some of these, you absolutely can, and it can be a pretty decent early and mid-game weapon. Gonna fall off towards the later game, and you could just argue that you could go for Chance's Knife, which would be even earlier than this, and it would be a whole lot better. But if you really like the aesthetics of the Machete Gladius, then it can also be pretty decent. All the machetes are kind of okay to pretty good, at least with the Machete Gladius thrown in. None of them are really standouts. There are a couple of perks we should probably talk about, though, for melee weapons just in general that help them out a lot. Slayer is really good, it gives you more attack speed, which is just fantastic. Other things like Piercing Strike can be really good, where you can just ignore armor with melee and unarmed, which is really, really strong in general. And Super Slam, which is really strong as well since you knock down enemies. And with weapons that attack really fast, knocking down enemies is very easy and very consistent. You just knock them on the ground and just keep smacking them. And they usually can't fight back, assuming they don't have friends around that can also fight you. And even then, with a really fast attacking weapon, you can probably knock multiple enemies down and still keep hitting on them while they're on the ground. So melee can just be pretty crazy by itself, but that's more the perks making it crazy than necessarily like the weapons being crazy. So in conclusion, should you use the machete or part of the machete family? I would say yeah in the early game, and maybe in the late game if you're going with the melee build, but only maybe. There's better options than the machete, there's a lot better weapons. It, in kind of terms of everything, in terms of damage, damage per second, being a holdout weapon, better weight, better item health overall. Again, something like Chance's Knife is kind of just better than all of these at everything. So, 
that one would just be a go-to for me over this. But if you really like the aesthetics, then by all means use the machetes. They are kind of cool weapons just in and of themselves. Tell me your thoughts on the machete down in the comments below and the family of machetes, the broad machete, the liberator, the machete gladius. Which one do you like the most? Which one do you enjoy the most? Tell me your thoughts. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye everyone.